Ventilation is an absolute critical part of healthy living in your home. In this video, we're gonna cover some of the ways that you can ventilate. Joseph, what are some of the key types of ventilation that's available for residential homes? Well, in Australia, for most residential homes, we mainly use either natural ventilation through windows, skylights, wall vent, or we use mechanical way. Mechanical way in Australia, we mean exhaust fans in kitchen and toilet only. Mm -hmm. Unlike our counterparts in Europe or in the US where they got whole house ventilation system, in here it is, we rarely see those system operating. So those are two mainstream ventilation system and for more eco-friendly, environmental conscious people, we also have energy or heat recovery ventilation system. Firstly, let's go over with some detail on natural ventilation. What are some of the pros and cons? Well, natural ventilation in a house is um, very common. Every house needs to be able to naturally ventilate it prescribed by the building code. Mm -hmm. Every habitable room has to have windows. There are two major problems about fully relying on natural ventilation. The first is on still day, usually you got minimal ventilation unless you open your doors and window fully, which is rarely happen. The other, which is more critical shortcoming is Overnight, especially on cooler night, when you are asleep, who is going to open up a window for you? No one. So it will compound the issue and create something like high CO2 concentration in bedroom, causing you headache and unhealthy environment. But I mean, a lot of people just don't operate windows or they're always locked for security. Like they're actually, we're, we're, we're having to put windows in, but they're a lot of the time inaccessible, not usable. That's very true. Mm. And that's why people would think about um, non-occupant direct control systems. Mm. Okay, so now let's move on to mechanical ventilation. The traditional way of mechanical ventilation typically relies on the exhaust fans, mm. trying to draw air from the house. The problem of that is first, um, it's very intermittent you don't know when the uh, fan will be triggered or not. Mm. So you cannot maintain a consistent, good quality air within the house. Mm. Secondly, you have no idea where the air will be pulled into your living space. Mm. If you are lucky, you got a crack open window, then it's not a problem. But if you got all the doors and windows shut, the exhaust fan still pulling air in. Where does it come from? Usually it's from the gaps and cracks around your house, um, usually coming from the dusty, maybe even moldy cavities in your walls and other areas. So there's no guarantee. Plus, I think a lot of Australians have experienced they hear possums, pests crawling around in the roof, or sometimes even mice in your wall cavity. Mm. Do you really want air pulling out from there? Mm. But I mean, they're, they're more systems that are being designed for one particular room, aren't they? And for one particular activity, like cooking, like going to the toilet, like having a shower. It's not a ventilation system that is designed for just existing and moving around in the house. Yes, that's very true, because those systems were designed for extracting the odor and pollutants instead of providing ventilation. It just somehow we can leverage up on that to get some level of ventilation. Okay, so it's not ideal. Okay, so now the ultimate in ventilation is a constant 24 hour ventilation system. Yes, that's very true. But at the same time, if you just have a mechanical fan system, constantly pumping air, outside air into your house, you are losing a lot of energy. You need to treat a lot more outdoor air with either heating or cooling throughout the year. And that's why 
the new trend, more sustainable way is to use something we call an energy recovering unit or a heat recovering unit, which exhaust and bring in fresh air at the same time through the unit itself. It allows the energy and the heat to transfer from the exhaust to the incoming air, which is what we call preconditioning, tamper the incoming air to make it closer to the condition of indoor space. So these units also have filtration on them, which means they have to be maintained on a regular basis, but they also filter air for asthma and hay fever sufferers. Yes, and some of them even have UV integrated into it to kill bacteria as well. Yeah. How about flies? Can they get rid of flies? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Yeah. Usually the filter would prevent the flies coming in, but if you open your doors and window, yeah. the system can't do anything. Yeah. So clearly we don't have a ventilation operating here today. Okay, so HRV and ERV, what is the difference between these systems and in what regions of Australia would you use each of those systems? Well, it is very interesting and a lot of people find it a bit confusing between the term HRV and ERV. Mm. The HRV is heat recovering unit. Mm. It only try to recover heat mm. as with respect to temperature only. Mm. But a lot of the time in different region, we also want to recover moisture mm. in the air because it can be either too dry or too wet. In alpine area, the outdoor air you bring in would be super dry mm. once it being heat up. So we want to recover the exhaust, uh, the moisture from the exhaust air to prevent the indoor air becoming too dry, which can cause um, itchy skin, respiratory sensitivity, all those issues. But on the other hand, in the more tropical, humid northern Queensland or northern territory climate, we want to keep the moisture outside the house. So the HRV or the ERV system, the HRV won't do that. Mm. And the energy recovery system would recover the COOF, the reverse of the heat. What about air purifiers? I mean, are, are they a replacement for a ventilation system? The answer is no. No. Air purifier can be very effective helping you to remove pollutants, mm. germs and odors from the air. but it doesn't provide you with oxygen and doesn't remove carbon dioxide. So it can help to improve the air quality for sure, but it can't replace ventilation. How about indoor plants? Indoor plants, well, this is a very difficult question and I'm not going to cover that. <laughs> it helps, but it can't replace. Oh, come on, what are you talking about? 